All right, this is Mr. O, and uh, I'm going to talk about Mr. O's treehouse, uh, which I designed after reading the 13-story treehouse by Andy Griffiths. So, what I did first of all, I looked in the 13-story treehouse at the map at the beginning, and I wrote down all of the names of all of the the stories or all of the rooms on each level. Uh, one of which you can't see, that's the underground laboratory. But I wrote down all the others. And here they are. And then I I categorized them, so I put them into groups, depending on what they do or what they are for. So for example, the uh, observation deck, shark, tank, and giant catapult are defense. Uh, the pillow room, games room, swimming pool, and bowling are active fun. The theater and library and underground lab are quiet fun. And then the lemonade fountain, uh, the two bedrooms, and the kitchen are essentials. After that, I used these four categories to decide what I wanted to have in my treehouse. And this is what I came up with. Let me go through room by room. So starting with defence, it seemed to me that you can't do much better than TIE fighters, stormtroopers and laser cannons. You know, so I went with them. I think they should be able to handle, you know, big problems, small problems, and anything that comes flying into the tree or comes from down below. So that's all of my defense. After that, the essentials. So we've got three of them all together right here. We have uh, the bathroom, the bedroom with a bunk bed, of course because bunk beds are much more fun and a kitchen and then right down here sort of in the middle close to where you might be watching a film for example is the toilet oh yeah and the toilet has got a PlayStation uh, inside so after that we've got the active fun rooms, starting with the pool room. Now you might not be familiar with pool, um, you might be more familiar with snooker or billiards, but uh, I like pool. Uh, after that I have the swimming pool, which is a different kind of pool. Uh, again, nothing nothing too crazy about that. I decided not to have the see-through um, bottom part of the swimming pool. I just think that would be too scary. Uh, next to that, we have the Kung Fu practice room. You can see a ring, we've got some swords, um, and, and a punching bag as well. I reckon that would be pretty fun. And then we move up to the quiet, fun rooms. Starting with a maker room. This might not be too clear to, to all of you, but uh, this is for making things out of wood. Um, could be toys, could be games, could be furniture, anything like that. Um, I think that's pretty interesting, so uh, that's what I would like to have. Above that is the art room. Should be pretty simple. Uh, lots of space to make a mess and to, to, to make some amazing pieces of art. And then we get to the really interesting ones for me. So over here we've got the games room. At the back you can see a big storage area for lots and lots of board games and a really nice big table for everybody to play around uh, in the middle. And then moving up from there we have the music room uh, and you can see we've got a guitar, we've got a bass, we've got drums, we've got two big amps, we've got a grand piano. I think that would be perfect for putting on some performances and making a lot of noise right at the top of the treehouse. And the final room, number 13, is the library and theatre. 
So you can see we've got a huge library full of books. You can take books out and sit anywhere you want, even sit in different places in the treehouse and read loads and loads of books. Um, and also, of course, we've got a big projector and a big screen, um, some nice comfortable chairs to, to watch lots of movies. Um, we've got popcorn there as well. I think that would be pretty perfect. So what would you put into your treehouse? Uh, on my website, you can find a blank version of this that you can add your own rooms and, and design your rooms, do the pictures and, and label them as well. I didn't draw the, the back line onto the room just in case you wanted to um, have something bigger. You can draw the back line on yourself afterwards. So I hope you have fun trying this out and uh, I'd really like to see what your tree houses look like so you can bring them in and show them to me.